Hi, this is Tech Tips with Brittany, and today we're going to discuss refining notifications. My number one rule on refining notifications, especially if you have more than one device, one device to rule them all. Have one device that most of your notifications go to, and the other ones, turn them off. You do not need to hear it from six different places when you get a message from someone. It's crazy making. For example, for me, my phone is the master of notifications. It's the device that's with me all the time. I don't need calendar alerts on my iPad too because I always have my phone with me. I don't need them on my Mac. I always have my phone with me. By having only one device with notifications, it's gonna cut down on that loud noise that sort of exhausts you by the end of the day and some of the feeling of overwhelm. Just a little bit, but every little bit helps. Next, try to have notifications on only from the things you want. For example, apps where you're trying to use the device more, not less, like games, or where the notification has some important meaning and often where there's a real world action. For example, if my friend texts to say, hey, are we still hanging out tonight? That involves a real world action. I need to respond and say, yes, we are. If I don't respond for three hours, I haven't really followed through on my end of that deal. There are some notifications that I have up just for information. I do wanna know when my house, for example, has gone to away mode, so that if I desperately need to heat it before I get back, I can turn that on. It's information while I am out that results in a real world action. One that doesn't, for example, is news. To each their own. But I can't fathom why anyone other than an actual reporter or pundit or politician would ever want notifications on for news. It sounds like a really good way to be stressed and depressed all day long. But to each their own. Before we talk about some of the really detailed ways that we can look into notifications, let's first look at what the options are. So for your notifications, we're gonna go to the Settings app and to Notifications. There are a few different options for previews, for series suggestions, but what's really important are the actual apps. So we're gonna go down to a particular app. Here is my scheduling system that I use to book clients. It has a lot of options. I don't have it on here because it's my iPad and it's not my one device to rule them all, but we can use it for an example. On here, you can not allow them at all, and there's a whole bunch of different options. You can have it appear on the lock screen, have it go into that notification center where you swipe down from the top, and you can have a banner. Banners are obvious. They're that thing that slides down on the top that you can look at and sort of gets in the way if you're actually looking at the screen a little bit. So it's a little bit intrusive, but it's sometimes the right amount. Side note, if you didn't realize this, you can actually pull down on that in a lot of apps and access certain things. Like you can respond to a text message without actually opening up your messaging app. Not every app gives you those options. Uh, reminders will let you snooze. So you can't just pull down from that or you can swipe it out of your way. And when a banner is no longer on your screen, it's in the notification center. That's that thing you swipe down from the middle, shows you all your notifications. It's great if you wanna see what's been going on in the world while I've been working. Your banner style has multiple options, temporary and persistent. Persistent means it's gonna stay there until you wipe it away. Be judicious with what you allow persistent access. I believe the calendars are persistent by default, which is great if you're trying to get to your appointment on time. Absolutely. There's the option for sounds and badges. That's really where I want to talk about this because sounds should only be reserved for things that are time sensitive. If it's not time sensitive, sounds should not be a part of the picture. In the natural world, sounds like that elicit what we call an orienting response, like pay attention to the environment. It could be something dangerous. I'm not really sure that that's what you want going on when it's just a news app or something crazy. Badges, because of the red dot on badges and the way our brains process the color red differently, it also somewhat signals an emergency. So when you get too many of those red badges all over your phone screen, it sort of makes you wanna shut down and not look at them at all. It's great if it's something that actually is urgent. For example, one of the few apps that I allow to have badges on my phone is my credit card company. If I need to pay my bill, I kinda wanna know that. I mostly have it tied to things that are actual actions and things that need to be done. 
I don't, for example, have badges for my messages app because as much as at some point today when I have the time, I want to see what Pokemon my brother-in-law caught that I'm sure is shiny, I don't need to know it right now. And I don't need to have a nagging badge sitting there making me feel like there's a task I haven't done. I get that enough on my own. Too many badges stress us out. After all, we go numb to them and we can't see what else is there. If I have a badge and I'm still trying to get work done, my instinct is to clear it, even if it's not that important. If you keep your badges to a bare minimum, they can actually serve their purpose. Remind you to do a thing when you need to do it. By default, I don't have badges on in my apps. Notification grouping is awesome. Uh, if you remember a little while ago, each app was individually its own thing, but now you can see a whole group all together. That means it takes up less space on your screen and you can get a feel for what's going on because probably my text messages are in the same group and my task manager, for example, is in a different group. When I'm ready to look at one, I'm probably ready to look at others, but also having them grouped like that helps you clear them faster and having clear notifications is really the way to actually know what's going on in your world. So that the only things that are left are the things you actually need to look at. Long before Apple introduced this idea of deliver quietly notifications in iOS 12, I was preaching that gospel. I've been saying notification center only notifications for years. They're great. I can know what's going on in my world, but only when I'm ready to. If I'm in the middle of working, I won't know about those things until I'm ready to take a break. Then I can address it and feel good about the work I got done and feel good about my break. Almost all of my notifications are on deliver quietly and were before that was an option. But because that's an option now, it's great. You can change your settings so quickly. Having such quick access to change some of these settings now is wonderful. You no longer have to stop everything you're doing and go into the settings app, go to notifications and find the right app. And if you have a lot like me, then it's really hard to find. Go down to the right app and then turn the things that you way you wanna turn them. It was a really good way to never turn off your notifications. <laughs> One of the things you can do is you actually swipe to the side and right there, there's gonna be a button that says manage. On there, you can offer to deliver quietly. That's the thing I was talking about. Notification center only, no badges, no noise. You see it when you're ready to see it and really take control. Or you can turn them off entirely from here or you can go into your settings and manage them further and it's gonna take you straight to the reminders. Notice we're in reminders now. Now I can change them and refine them right from here. No going through a thousand steps to get there. This is one of my favorite features of iOS 12. If you notice that you're trying to avoid your notification center and don't wanna look at it, that's usually a sign that you're not clearing notifications and there's probably some in there that don't hold meaning for you. It's true, clearing your notifications on a regular basis is a habit, but man, it feels good to feel caught up. If you have a moment in between this or that, instead of checking Twitter or Facebook, maybe look at your notifications. It is a good feeling to see that there aren't any. Another thing that's hard to make the time to do is to actually sit down and go through your notifications to decide what should stay on and what doesn't need to stay on. I've even refined it to the point where if I can't take an action on my watch, I do not let that notification go to my watch. It's phone only. And that's because I don't need it vibrating on my wrist unless it's urgent and unless I can do something with it right then. It comes up sometimes where I'm talking to a client and I can tell they have too many notifications. It's something in their overwhelm, a quality to it, where I can tell that too many notifications are going off too much at the time. When that happens, we'll usually sit down and look at their notifications together. I suggest they take a few minutes on their own time to go through the notifications and turn them off. If they don't get around to it, I might be a little pushy about next time, we'll do it together. If you have a few minutes, maybe take a couple and pause this right now and turn off some of the notifications that you don't need in your world. Maybe get wild and delete the app. Either way, take a few minutes and look through what you have and see what really needs to be in your world. After you've pruned a little bit, then you can use that notification center. You swipe down, Swipe across and hit manage. When you notice something's notifying you that really shouldn't, go in, change it right then. It's so much easier. And once you're refined a little bit, you'll notice more and more, oh, I don't need that one. And you'll be able to turn it off really quickly. 
And when you are going through your notifications, try not to keep any wish list items. In theory, I might need this notification if I were doing blank. Okay, turn it on when you're ready to do blank, whatever it is. It's always better to have it up to date for your life right now. It's not glamorous, it's not sexy, but take a few minutes to do something for yourself that'll help you feel better later. You can even do it while you're watching TV, just saying. Thanks so much for joining me for Refining Notifications. Till next time. This is one of my favorite features of iOS 12. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> hey, you got to learn something. I know.